Sit back and relax for an evening with the Thames Men. Hello, welcome to Thamesman number two. Yay! We're Our... stuck in the basement, huh? Well, we haven't been despairing recently, so we haven't been here. It's getting a bit dusty, you know. So you know. I know, I know, I know. Well, you know, needs a new paint job. <laughs> yeah, we'll just you know get rid of the spiders. We'll be good. It's all good. Welcome, everyone. Yeah, we're back in. We're back on channel two. So you know, we were just been talking about this behind before we started. Of course, you know, we haven't done anything. George loves channel two, and I we've do. just been sorry. We've been busy on channel one, and be meaning to get back here so here we are yeah and also we have launched a patreon channel where where we obviously are doing some things as well but but c2 times two is a place to experiment but also like put stuff that isn't you know a, an absolute banger or anything like this this is a really personal track or band to me like this tracks lesser but so so we are doing a midnight oil yeah let me ask you about this so, so yeah t2 is for you know for if we it's like there are tracks we know that won't blow up, you know, do well, and this is one of them. But and I know you came back from Australia, and I'm, you know, when you were you know, a wee little young whip of a snapper, and you absolutely went on and on about midnight. Oh, why? What happened? I I, I think it was because I, you know, left school and I went travelling for a year, and I went to Australia. I lived in Sydney for six months, and and it was like a taste of freedom after like you know school days and all that sort of stuff, and going out to see bands and music and stuff. And there was something about. And I, I can't define it. There's something about Australian bands of that era, maybe this era as well, where they were like from 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 my perspective, where I grew up, we had rock, British rock, White Snake, ACDC, Judas Priest kind of rock, and then there was like American rock. You know, there was that sort of side of things, and and or, or there was country and western, and, and yeah, there wasn't a huge sort of variety. Went to Australia, it was just different. It was just subtly different. There was just a sound to things, an edge to things, mixed with the you know, the Mediterranean climate, the blue sky, the sunshine. Uh, and so there was like uh, uh, the Huda Gurus. Love the Huda Gurus. Uh, fantastic band to see live. Great stuff. Um, and uh, But Midnight Oil was the other one, which I absolutely love. And, and did, you see them, did you see them live? I didn't see them live in Australia. I have seen them live several times since. And to this day, I think our last gig I went to was like three years ago, maybe. Uh, they played at the Greek in, in LA and they were amazing. Wow. Truly amazing. Just... That, now, for those who don't know, Midnight Oil are very environmentally conscious and very, uh, I suppose some people know they would call it woke, but they're actually, they live up to their beliefs. And they started like being very against mining companies and the desecration of the land and Aboriginal lands. And so a lot of their songs are protests. The clever thing was that they made them very accessible they weren't they they were they were great pop tunes you know uh, you'd hear them on the radio and go, oh, that's a great pop tune but it was actually a protest about some very serious matters in australia um and and they they he was so the lead singer's a guy called peter garrett who i think is amazing you watch him on stage and he's tall and thin and bald head and he's kind of awkward he's kind of like got this jilted movement that's his thing you know and so you watch him on stage he's totally in his own way mesmerizing and, and then the bands are great. They have these great sort of rhythms and sounds to stuff. Um, but then they're singing about serious stuff. But anyway, so this song is breaking news today. Uh, it came out today. We should have our breaking news stuff on. Um, mm -hmm. And so they've got a new album coming, which has been a bit delayed. And um, so next week, as you know, it is the UN Conference on Climate. Oh, yeah. um, and so this song is is rising seas. So you can guess what it's about. Uh, and it's it's about how we're not looking after the planet, and particularly in Australia, where um, we talked about this the other day. That that they they talk about becoming carbon neutral, but not until twenty fifty. You know, it's just like it's too late by then. You know. Um, and so anyway, so so just quickly, Peter Garrett, the lead singer, I was going to say, he's so dedicated that he actually became an MP. He actually was, he, he stopped the music career and he was a very activist politician in Australia for several years. And so that, and then he, he, his termed out whatever he did and then he's gone back to the Midnight Oil. And so I, I like total respect, music wise, politics wise, they do what they say, they, they fight for the causes, they're, they're, they're the real deal. All right, let's That's do it. Like 
on that, let's do it. Let's, uh, you know... Let's, if anyone's uh, still here after that bit of a rant... Well, no, that was great, but, I mean, I wonder if it's going to be a sad song. But there again, if people listen to their music and they just think it's a nice pop tune, do you, are they getting a message across? Well, I don't know. I think the thing is, because then you dive deeper into what they're doing and what they're talking about, what their message is, and you pay attention to it because they've bought your attention, if you know what yeah. I mean. And, and, and I, uh, never, I never knew, and I know Midnight and I, I never knew all that about the background of them. I know. He, he, like, if you look at like a load of their songs, if you look at the lyrics, they're about the mining companies and about the abuse of this and that and things. And they're really interesting if you look at them. So, yeah. Do it. Let's do some more Midnight Oil. I would do more Midnight Oil any day. Or we do retro Midnight Oil. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. Every child, put down your toys and come inside to sleep. We have to look you in the eye and say, we sold you cheap Let's confess We did not act With serious urgency So open up The floodgates To the rising sea
Wow. Okay, I'm biased, but I love that band. That was really good. It was, it, it like it just. He's got such an interesting voice, you know. And I, I, and this, the guitars sound so upbeat and so sort of like pleasant and you know nice sunny days. But it's such a serious thing as well at the same time. I, I just mm. something about them just really presses my buttons. No, know? no, no. I, I, I love, I love the song. I love, I love the chorus. So they really kind of had a resolve on them. The chorus, and I love the band behind, and I really got into the lyrics as well. Yeah, and it was, yeah, uh, they're the, clever, aren't they? He's a clever man, you know. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the video was great, and I love the, the drums. I adore that drummer. I love how he, how flat his drums are as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they just uh, they still got it, you know. They're really- I, 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 that's the thing, like because w- when I saw them, you know, originally it was nineteen eighty something or other, and you know, it, so that was what thirty five years ago, forty years ago, thirty whatever it was, and and they sounded like that, you know. And I saw him, like I said, three years ago live. And he he plays the song, and he still sounds exactly the same, and still has the energy and the spark and the you know, and it's it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So it's also so depressing as well. Yeah, uh, yeah okay, <laughs> there is that. <laughs> no, that was uh, and 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 oh god, if you're gonna if you're gonna have a platform, you know, use it, you know? it for something like that rather than taking photographs of you on private jets. And yeah. uh, you know, and Lamborghinis or whatever, you know. I mean, each not each of their own. Quite frankly, that's a much better use of your time on the of world. your skills and your talents. And and you yeah. know, and and he's brought the message. And I, you know, if if we could at some point, we'll do. I'd love to find a like one of their live performances for you, uh, like one of their classic tracks or something, so you could just see because it is they are so good live. They are really like one of those bands that just takes it to another level, you know. And so yeah, I might have to go back and listen to it a little bit more. They're, they're, I tell you, they're, they're great for driving. Like you, you, you put on midnight oil. I have a little midnight oil essentials playlist or something, and driving around like Southern California with the sun out, you, you'd be like, okay, I feel good. Oh, just before we uh, started recording, I mentioned Ice Cool Works. Do you remember them? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think another Australian band, similar sort of vein, similar sound from that era. Yeah, I, I never. They never took off for me the same way. Now. Was, there was a there was a song was it the ice school it was called Great Southern Land. Oh no, I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. I just remember listening. Which I to did that. like that song. Whoever did Great Southern Land, that was a song I I really did love at one time. You know, so. um, and and Men at Work. <laughs> That's a bit different, you know. A bit different, uh, you know. Great. Yeah, thank you for that. I loved it. No, that was that was I uh, yeah, that was time well spent. I loved it, and and also thank you for opening up about what they do because I didn't really have a clue. So it's also yeah. given a completely different dimension to the band. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're the real deal. And I respect that, you know, And but they're great musicians and they're good time. So yeah. can't be bad. All right. And on Excellent. That, on Thank you for sad, listening. Sad moment when the panda finally snuffs it out. Yeah, exactly. Or the, or the polar bear falls like off his penguins. iceberg. I like penguins. <laughs> what what like the little chocolate biscuit penguins or no, the real ones that the jump real in. ones what would you yeah, do yeah, with the penguin the if you had a penguin what was that if you had a penguin what would you do with it i'd make like it i'll make it a little sweater because <laughs> they get really cold and uh, there was I, just, I was reading an article about the, one of the oldest men in new zealand or in uh, we'll put it here new zealand or in uh, whatever he just died australia he's 109 and uh, for the last few if, years of his life he knitted sweaters for baby penguins and there'll be a really cool picture just down there there's one penguin with a sweater on with a penguin on the front <laughs> That's awesome. I know. Oh. I know. So oh. that's what I'd do. What would you do if you had penguins? I, I would have like an icy slope so I could watch them slide down all day. Yeah, perfect. You know, exactly, because I've seen those videos. That looks cool. So. Yeah. And on that note, <laughs> I've actually got another penguin fact. But shall we go? Or shall we do you want to hear it? No, go on. If you've got a penguin fact, get it out of the system. There was a zoo in Germany, and they, uh, they, they had these uh, – they've got this uh, couple – or penguins, and they have these little caves or whatever, and this couple have shacked up, and they're gay. And they are gay penguins, but every time they get an orphan egg, they always give it to the gay penguin couple because they're the best couple there is, and they've reared lots and lots of other penguins in the zoos as gay couple. Penguin uh, couple. You see how it works, you know? Absolutely, the best Perfect. penguins that they had, you know? <laughs> it's amazing. It's really cool. And they have a little cave. And uh, Do they decorate it lovely? You know? No, they're penguins. 
<laughs> they fish. They don't uh, decorate. They're not. No, they don't have like little hands to celebrate Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely little interiors. But okay, this is this is definitely no. Which you hadn't brought up the other penguin fact. Now, all right, all moving right. on. Yes. Yeah. Like and subscribe if you're still here, please. Yes. Tempsman two. Yeah. Tempsman one. Patreon. Instagram. We're all there. Done. Take care. What noise do penguins make? No. <laughs> <laughs>